Thousands of Cleveland area Catholics, reality is just setting in tonight following a long awaited announcement today from Bishop Lennon. News Channel 5's Deborah Lee is live outside St. Wendelin Church, the site of a prayer vigil earlier this evening. But, Deb, this time it was a vigil of celebration. Oh, that's absolutely right, Danita. There were people from several different closed parishes from around the city here. They all gathered here to celebrate that this church and 11 others will soon open their doors, and those prayers and all the singing will once again be heard from the inside. Glory to God in the highest. They sang, they hugged, they lit candles to celebrate the prayers that have been answered. We still can't believe it. I think I'm going to wake up from a dream. Earlier today, Bishop Richard Lennon said he will carry out a Vatican decree and restore this church and 11 others that he previously closed. It's time for peace and unity in the Diocese of Cleveland. I will not appeal the decrees. For some here, it brought relief. For others, guarded optimism. We were very pleased with what he said today but we feel that we have to be united and grow and that we have to uh, uh, avoid confrontation. Dawn and Marilyn McCarthy came back to St. Wendelin Church here about six years ago from a larger parish in the suburbs. When you walk into this church, you just feel as though you're engulfed by heaven. You really do. It's a small, beautiful community. But there will be challenges, like staffing. There are fewer active priests available, and Bishop Lennon said the churches will have to demonstrate that they have the active membership and the financial wherewithal to sustain themselves. We have a million and a half dollars the bishop took in when he closed us. If he returns that, we'll be financially solvent and we'll work very hard on increasing the membership. But tonight they rejoice, thankful that these doors will open, prayerful that they will open soon. So what is next? Well, the bishop has to find some priests to lead these parishes, so no one really knows exactly when these doors are going to open. The bishop said today it could take as much as a couple of months. Could take. He's not sure, but everyone here says they're just hoping it's sooner rather than later. Live in Cleveland, Deborah Lee, News Channel 5.